the prepaid expenses as well the same kind of controls that are going to be in place so this is another area of course as we construct the audit process there will be overlap when we consider these different types of accounts we need to consider where that overlap will be so that we could do the the enough testing that we need but a minimal amount of testing in order to make the audit process efficient then we have the substantive procedures we're going to say related to prepaid insurance in this case so we have the substantive procedures we have the inherent risk the detection risk then uh, we have the inherent risk and the control risk then study the detection risk then considering the substantive procedures the actual testing items that we would be doing within the audit test of details of prepaid insurance accounts step one is to get a schedule of the prepaid assurance account so obviously we're going to need a schedule we're going to not want to know when the payments were going to be made we're probably also going to need the policy so those are the two things we're typically going to need if we if we get the gl account or the trial balance if we get the trial balance we're going to look at prepaid we're going to say we need the gl account now most of the time the company will be posting their payments to the gl account of prepaid insurance and then they should be if they're a publicly traded company doing the month end reconciliation and then we should just have to basically uh, review that so if you have questions about that you want to go to financial accounting think about the year end adjusting entry if you're talking about publicly traded companies they should have completed the adjusting entry which means they would be posting their items uh, when they make the payment to insurance to prepaid expenses an asset not a liability then at the end of a time period typically a month they would make the adjustment to adjust the amount that has expired and the amount that has not been expired the amount that remains in prepaid expense the amount that is not now if you're auditing a very small company or doing a re review or a compilation or something like that quite possible that they didn't do the the period end adjustment and you may actually have to, to look at that period end adjustment which is basically just an adjusting entry or it could be possible that instead of posting the transactions to prepaid insurance they're posting it to a prepaid to insurance expense and in that case of course you would just basically do the reverse of the adjusting entry instead of adjusting it out of prepaid insurance you would be saying okay now prepaid expenses overstated you'd have to reduce that again publicly traded company that adjusting entry you would think had been taken place and we just need to basically test to see if it was done properly assertions related to prepaid insurance includes valuation calculate portion of the policy that is not expired and portion that is so with regard to valuation we're going to get the policy we're going to say okay how much time period does this policy cover and and then we're going to consider how much of the policy has expired and how much of the policy has not been expired so the assumption here we have the policy policy has been paid for we could see that the policy has been paid for then we consider the policy that has been paid for how much of it has expired how much is of it has not expired the amount that has not expired then should be still reported as prepaid insurance the amount that has expired should be expense rights and obligations confirm policy beneficiary so we want to make sure that we know who the beneficiary is of the policy inquire the insurance broker so it's useful to be able to talk to the insurance broker because the insurance broker is outside of the organization so it gives us a little bit more confirmation or assurance a little bit better ed evidence that we can compile to give us assurance about prepaid insurance existence and completeness so with the assertion of existence and completeness confirm policy with the insurance broker so again we could talk to the insurance broker about that outside of the company bit more assurance examine supporting uh, source documents so we can consider the source documents as well and then we have classification so classification assertion determine the correctness of classifications to accounts we want to make sure that the accounts are being properly classified or uh, the amounts are being properly classified to the proper classes